Hi everybody and this is my video on how to eat a guava and this is a guava. I think it's um, usually Thai guavas are about half as big uh, which because this is a sphere um, maybe are like uh, well much much um, smaller but this is a pretty gigantic um, guava and I really like guavas they're really delicious and um, okay so so basically the outside uh, there's a kind of ball of seeds and mushy stuff in the middle and uh, eating a guava is dangerous because the seeds are so hard that you can break a tooth on them and um, also you should probably check before you eat the guava exactly like I do um, when watching the video to make sure that I'm not hospitalized because there's I, um, I, I used to eat um, guava seeds all the time and then I, I actually haven't eaten guava seeds for about four years because right after I moved to Thailand I just ate guavas like I'm gonna eat um, now except for they were smaller than this gigantic guava and then a Thai friend told me oh don't don't eat the seeds because and and then they um, told this urban legend about um, um, kind of you know how gum gets stuck in your stomach for um, 10 years um, it was the same thing with guava, with guava seeds and and then especially with the guava seeds because they're long and pointy um, kind of like um, well, uh, well well anyway I'll I'll spit one out and and show it to you while I'm eating the guava but Anyway, that um, that scared me a lot, and I, I didn't eat gu any guava seeds, just only the outside of the guava for a long, long time. But then, in preparation for this video, I thought, well, is that just an urban legend or not? And it turns out it is an urban legend. And the urban legend is that guava seeds can cause appendicitis because, uh, well, I'm not I'm not actually sure why. I um, it's it's kind of boring why, especially if it's not true. So anyway, um, the the question that you're probably all asking um, is how do you eat a guava and basically you eat a guava the same way that you eat an apple you just um, take a bite out of it And for me, the guava is one of the most delicious fruits. It's, um, I guess, a little bit like apple-like in texture, but it has a more of like a sourish kind of bite. Well, I guess some apples are sour, but um, I'm not really sure how to, how to describe it besides that it's just really, really good. And I used to think that I hated guava because I had only had guava in like mixed like banana guava um, fruit juice boxes, and and those uh, those things are horrible. The um, the actual guava fruit is delicious, but guava juice, um, and, and guava juice just by itself is good. But guava juice mixed with other stuff is um, really really bad. And I think I think they do it because guava is relatively relatively cheap. So um, or or I'm I, I'm not really sure, but just guava by itself is awesome. Um, guava juice mixes and blends I really don't like. Oh, and, and I think, I'm not really sure how, how much, but the tasty part of guava is on the outside. And then the gushy, um, the gushy middle um, stuff with all the seeds is on the inside. And all of this is edible. Um, and you just have to be careful when you're eating like this to that when you get to the seeds, then you don't bite them with your teeth. Otherwise, like I said, they're really, really hard. And Um, yeah, so 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 it can be um, it can be dangerous a little bit. Oh, and especially because the guava is a lot more firm than an apple is.
So basically, you have to, in order to even eat the guava, you have to chew it a lot um, stronger with more force than you would um, chew something like a rose apple. And so, because these um, really hard seeds are in the middle, then uh, they they can just be really dangerous. Okay, and so, so far no seeds, but um, I'm getting almost to the point where it's kind of the mushy stuff in the middle that has seeds. Okay, and then I, I bit about like four or five seeds, so... So, 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 so yeah, I don't know if you saw me chew lighter, but, um, but when you're eating the inside, then you have to chew, um, chew a lot more carefully. And so... In Thailand, the, the way that I usually get these is from street vendors, and street vendors um, cut them up, discard the um, um, the middle section, and you just get the outside, so it's really, really nice. Um, I guess a little bit wasteful, especially if you don't buy into the myth that the seeds are dangerous, because um, the inside is, it, it's not as tasty as the outside, but it's still guava. And usually I try to eat as much of the inside as possible, um, so that way I get through all the seeds, so the last part isn't very seedy, but um, that, that can be a little bit tough too. And actually, I think these seeds aren't very big, so maybe the guavas I've had before, or, or maybe actually in my head, the seeds are a lot worse, than, or a lot bigger than they actually, actually are. Because these seeds, um, I don't know if you can see them, but they look really, really pretty tiny.
Yeah, and so and so the inside I have to basically chew so that I'm not biting down all the way. But then the outside is um, is really nice, and it's not as um, it's not a very juicy fruit. So that's kind of strange why they have so much guava juice. Uh, because it's like, like it's not drippy at all, and I think that that might be why I, I like it because I don't really like drippy fruits very much. And this is, um, eating this guava is going a little bit slow. Um, par, um, mostly because if I eat it too fast, I'm, um, like I said, I guess many times already, I'm really afraid of hurting my teeth because these seeds are so hard. So the outside part I can eat fast, even though it's harder and crunchier, but the inside part I eat slowly and carefully. So. Um, so, so yeah, so now I'm taking a giant bite of the inside so I can um, eat as many of the seeds, um, eat as many of these dangerous seeds very, very carefully on my next bite. And in Thailand, then the word for guava is farang, and the word farang also means foreigner, like Western foreigner. So if people are talking about me, then they'll call me a farang, and so that's like an interesting um, thing. As far as I can tell, they. Um, there's no connection, but there, um, like any like word etymology or entomology, or, um, whichever one's ants and whichever one's words, then nobody really knows. And there are a whole bunch of stories that just people made up because they thought they um, sounded cool. And and actually, this um, I mentioned it's not very juicy. It's a little bit dry, so I need to uh, actually get a drink of water, or I'll start hiccuping. But like I said, this is almost like the perfect fruit for me, so um, I, I just really like it being not too juicy and ni uh, nice texture and everything like that. Just the seeds are, <clears throat> the seeds are dangerous. Okay, I think I've eaten about half of the seeds, hopefully. And here's another seed close-up.
and I'm taking another seed bite. And actually a much less dangerous way to eat this would be to take a couple bites, use a spoon to um, spoon out all of the seedy stuff in the middle and, um, and, then, and then eat that or throw it away and then eat the rest of it and still kind of be eating it like I do. Oh, the, um, the people in, well, well, let me take another bite first. So the people in Thailand that sell these on the street, what they do is they take a knife and they go ch -ch 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 -ch, like uh, like kind of um, kind of like taking a regular knife, but like doing like a hatchet like you're hatcheting a tree, and somehow when they do that, then they get all these like really nicely shaped um, bite size um, pieces of guava to eat. And I don't do that because I'm scared of knives. Uh, they're dangerous, like even more dangerous than these seeds. So, uh, so, um, so, so a lot of times I've thought about doing that, but just I really like eating these like an apple. And another seed bite. Yeah, and I know I promised to pull out a seed, but these seeds are pretty tiny and you probably wouldn't be able to see anyway. Um, but but if but you can kind of you can kind of see what they look like there. And yeah, I don't know if um, my goal of eating all the seeds first so that I then had some of the outside to eat last, it's probably not actually gonna work out like I was hoping it would because there's a lot of seeds in this. Oh, and the, the inside, it's gooier and mushier, but it still tastes like guava, so it's still like, I'm, I'm licking it. Um, 
So the inside is still good flavor. It's just dangerous without these seeds. Oh, and in Thailand, they almost never refrigerate their fruit. So I bought this a few days ago at the market, threw it in the fridge, and it's a little bit cool, which is like how I like my fruit. But most of the guavas that I have eaten are just room temperature guavas. So I, it's, I guess it's up to you if you like um, them room temperature or refrigerated like I do. And I've never actually eaten the stem. I don't think I will. Maybe I'll try it. Okay, so something that when I first came to Thailand, I bought a Thailand phrase book, and at the end of every chapter, it had a, like cultural notes, and I read those very, very carefully. And it turned out that they were all wrong. I don't think the person that had written the, phrase, the cultural notes had actually ever been to Thailand. So one of the things that they said is that uh, because foreigner and guava share the same word in Thai, farang, then, then they said, if you're a foreigner and you eat a guava, then Thai people will make jokes. And so for a while I didn't, I was scared of eating guava in public. But then I thought, oh, well, I'm, uh, I don't mind being the center of attention, so I'll try some guava. And nobody ever made a joke. And I think, like, like, even if I'm eating guava and I make, and I keep talking about that I like farang, then no Thai people will ever, like, take that and, like, make a joke out of it. I think that's happened to me maybe, like, once. But, yeah, the phrase, the phrase book is wrong. Um, foreigners can eat guava as much as they want to without Thai people ever making a joke about a farang eating a farang.
Okay, I think the end is in sight. There are only there's a pocket of these dangerous seeds that as soon as I eat these, then I can eat the rest of this without worrying about them. So, yeah, it, um, there's really not very much left, maybe 5%, 10% of this guava left where I've, I've eaten all the seeds. Now I can eat this without worrying about ruining my, or breaking my teeth from eating a guava seed. So one of the things that I want to mention, that, and this is kind of a rant, but I've never been part of a conversation where I've talked about guava and people haven't said, oh, hey, well, you, um, you like this kind of guava. Have you tried pink guava? Have you tried this guava? Have you tried this, this guava? And, and actually, I think the only kind of guava that I've tried is this guava, and it's really good, and I'm sure pink guava is okay, but um, I, like, like, this is the guava that, I'm, that I've eaten, that I'll continue to eat, that I buy every week from the people that sell fruit on the side of the road. Um, I, I've, I've never actually seen those folks buy quink, pink guava. And so just my interest level in pink guava is really, really low because even though these are kind of exotic fruits for me, then I don't want to go to like a specialty shop and order, um, like, like get their weird fruits that cost like 20 bucks each from the... Um, back shelf or whatever. So anyway, I um, this this regular um, white uh, white fleshed guava is the uh, is is the kind that's most prominent in Thailand. Oh, and for the history of guava, then guava originated in the Americas, like Central America, Mexico, um, like um, 4,000, 4, 5,000 years ago. And, um, and then uh, now it's grown, I think, mostly in Asia, and they have a few fruit trees in Florida.
so here it is, just, just the stem, and I'm still a little wary of stems after how horrible tasting the persimmon stem was. I'm sure this is, and, well, I'm sure every everything's tastier than a persimmon stem, but um, I'm, I'm just too afraid to eat this um, stem, even though I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's edible. And I'm sure the persimmon stem is edible too. Um, I read this book about like living off of the land and it made the point that most stuff is edible but a lot of stuff like bark um, just is too fibrous to be able to actually like digest it and so that's what was going through my head with the persimmon stem but yeah, yeah this uh, this stem I think is a little bit tastier and actually now that I've um, should I eat it? Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm going to eat it. Okay. Um, it's definitely not as bad as the persimmon stem, but I had to spit it out. Um... But yeah, um, don't don't eat don't eat the stem there. I don't I wouldn't recommend it. So that's my video on how to eat a guava, and thanks very much for watching.